Viewer discretion is advised. Are you wondering what to eat in Sardinia? Well, today is your lucky day because we are going to tell you all of the foods that you can eat on your next trip to Sardinia. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we are here at the Agriturismo San Giovanni in the northeast area of Sardinia, in the Gallura area, and we're gonna show you some of the best food you can eat in Sardinia. But first, what's a, what is an agriturismo? What is an agriturismo? An agriturismo is a restaurant that usually has some of the food, they grow the food themselves. So either by the, some of the meat or some of the cheeses or both, they do themselves and they sell what they, they grow and they they prepare for you and it's usually so good. delicious one of my favorite things about an agriturismo is usually it's like a tasting menu so you pay a set price maybe you know 30 40 50 euros something like that and everything is included usually and they'll bring you all of the courses the the food the drink everything is just so delicious in this particular agriturismo they show you usually is a four course meal there's an antipasto a pasta dish, a pièce de résistance, you'll see what it is, and a dessert. And usually they give you some digestive at the end, and wine, of course. All right, well, don't tell them too much here. All no. right, stay tuned, and we're going to show you a lot more about what we're going to be eating tonight. Stay tuned. Despite the Sardinian being an island, you might be surprised, but seafood is not the most traditional food in Sardinia. Actually, there are a few areas of the island where seafood is common, but those are villages that used to be fishermen villages. Most of the Sardinian food is actually land food, either meat or lamb or cheese. So let's go around and show you the food. And they just brought us a little cocktail and a welcome drink. So cheers. Cheers. All right, so the first thing that you're going to eat is actually not something you're going to eat. When you're in Sardinia, you're going to be presented with wine because you know, there's so much wine all over Italy. And look at how they bring you wine at an agriturismo. They bring you a one liter jug. And here folks, I have a Cananao. It's, it's a little cold because you know, it's bloody hot out. So Cananao, is typically a heavier wine, but you can have it chilled. And I've been told that this one have actually made it a little bit lighter for, for summer. Let's give it a try. Wow, it's like grape juice. Let's continue our what to eat in Sardinia video and talk about the bread. The typical Sardinian bread is called Pane Carazao. It's this beautiful crunchy bread, which is really, really crunchy and dry. They serve it either as is or with some rosemary, olive oil and salt and it's really really good and it's almost like potato chips. When you start eating it, you will not be able to stop. So be careful, it's addictive. So the typical Sardinian white wine is a Vermentino. Again, very light, very fruity, very delicious and oh, it's so good. Taste of summer. Taste of summer. Exactly. Food arrived. These are the antipasti or the appetizer. So look at the bounty we they brought us. Okay, let's start. These are beautiful local cold cuts from Sardinia, the salami, panchara, and coppa. And then we have another specialty of Sardinia, which is pecorino cheese. Pecorino cheese is cheese made out of sheep milk. And it has different variety of aging. This is a mild, so it's a medium aging. There's a more uh, stronger one, which is called uh, stagionato. This is medio stagionato, which is mean mildly uh, aged. Then they brought us some um, suckling pig in uh, sweet and sour sauce. And then some very beautiful uh, vegetable quiche. And then some beans, some olives, and some zucchini. 
Let's give it a try. I'll start with the meatballs. So there's a variety of cold and hot appetizer, and this is a hot appetizer. Hmm. It's delicious. It's very tender, very savory. It's a hint of vegetables inside. It's really pretty good. And very crunchy as well. And next, I'm going to try the vegetable quiche. This looks cold. So it looks like a bed of potato with uh, some cheese, some crunchy cheese on top. Mm. It's like mashed potatoes au gratin, but not too hot. Just, it's delicious. Okay, let's try some of the pecorino cheese. As I said, this is made of sheep milk and is med medium aged, so shouldn't be too strong, it shouldn't be too pungent, just... Mm. Creamy, salty, slightly nutty, really, really, really good. Pair as well with a nice white wine. And this is succulent pig in a sweet and sour sauce. Looks extremely tender. It's very good. It's not too hot. It's um, tangy, but um, very, very tender and moist. Definitely really good. Let's have another piece. Mm. Oh, good. Let's try this penne caraza with just some pancetta. And shed is delicious. It's like bacon, but Italian style. Mm. It's not diet, and it pairs really well with red wine. By the way, folks, this is just the appetizer. It's the first course. Look how much food we have. And if you don't eat pork, Probably this is not the place for you. Mm. So good. Well, appetizers are over. Now we are waiting for the primi or the pasta dish. Apparently there will be three pastas. One is called gnocchi, uh, which are typical Sardinian gnocchi, which are they're not made out of potatoes, but of, uh, of wheat. And there's gonna be some ravioli with ricotta, filled with ricotta. And then the third dish is a very typical dish of the northeast side of the island. It's called galura, and it's called zuppa galurese. It's kind of a lasagna of bread and cheese. It's really gooey and cheesy. It's absolutely delicious. If you come to galura, you must try the zuppa galurese. All right, for, so for our first creamy, so it's the first course, the first of our first courses. Um, I thought that I would start with my favorite. It's called Zuppa Galarese. And I have to say, this is, if there is a lasagna in Sardinia, this is it. Let me show you what it is. So here is the Zuppa Galarese. And Zuppa Galarese is our Panic Carazal, this guy that we were eating earlier. And what they do is they, they put this, and then they put cheese, and then they put another layer. So they kind of go like this. And then they put another layer, and then they put this, and then they put another layer. And then they put a beautiful broth, like a chicken broth or a sheep broth, and then they cook it. Let me tell you, this is by far one of my favorite dishes here in Sardinia, and I'm going to give it a try. And one of the things that makes a Zuppa, Zuppa Galarese better than the other is how much cheese there is. Look at this. Look how gooey and gooey this is. It's incredible. All right. Let's give it a go. Mm. So this restaurant, they use a lot of nutmeg. And nutmeg makes everything just it's that secret ingredient you know that makes you want to come back for more 
And that's exactly what I'm doing, coming back for more. And it pairs well with red wine. And now I'm gonna try the Malredus or Sardinia gnocchi. As I said, these are not made out of potatoes, are made out of the wheat. And they're made in a very tomatoey and sausage sauce, which is really, really tangy and really good. So let me try. Mm. The tomato sauce is so fresh. It's extremely good. And the gnocchi are firm, but still very, not too chewy, very good. And lots of cheese on top and the sausage. So extremely delicious. And this is our last pasta. It's ravioli filled with ricotta cheese and topped with tomato sauce. Let's give them a try. Mm, the filling, it's like ricotta cheese. Mm. So, in the ricotta cheese, they put some beautiful lemon zest and it totally comes very forward. It's good and refreshing, and the cheese is not too overpowering. Absolutely delicious. And again, the tomato sauce is fresh as it can be, so you can't go wrong with that. Mm. And they're gone. <clears throat> One thing you have to mention is Italian food is very, very, very localized. So every area of Italy and every area of Sardinia has its own particular food. And Zuppa Gallorese, being a dish from Galura, cannot be found anywhere else other than the northeast part of the island. So, if you want to try the Zuppa Galorese, you have to come to Galura, which is on the northeast side of the island. Well, they just came around the table to take away the plates, and they were asking us if we needed, uh, you know, a few minutes before our, uh, our secondi, or our, our pièce de résistance course. And I said, yeah, you know, I need to have one more glass of wine in between, of course. And here we are, the pièce de résistance, our meat dish. It's called procedu, which is suckling pig. They're very small pigs, four to six kilo maximum. They're roasted for a very, very, very long time. So the meat turns very juicy and tender and the skin nice and crisp. And the skin is the best part. It's like almost eating chips. So let's do it. So the skin and right there, and you see how cracking it is. So the meat is juicy and tender because it roasts for so long. Mm. Tender, very, very good. Mild in flavor because it's um, a very small pig, so it's not very porky flavor, but this is the best part. Mm. Did you hear how crunchy this is? I would eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and just sprinkle a little sugar and have it even for dessert. Oh, and it pairs really well with red wine. And here we have the desserts. This is called seadas. It's a typical Sardinian dessert. It's fried dough with cheese inside, very, very mild cheese, and topped with the local honey and some lemon zest. And this is another uh, fried dough with ricotta and chocolate. Look how good. The cheese is so melty and gooey. Mm. You can definitely get the hint of lemon zest and the honey I put on top is not incredibly sweet. It's very sweet but not too sweet, so it's perfect. It's a great dessert. Alright, so now I am going to try the ricotta deep fried ravioli. You know, in Italy they say that 
You can deep fry a slipper and it'll be delicious. Well, this is a pasta, deep fried with cream and chocolate and that is like heaven. It's like the perfect dessert. So what do we have? We have a we have a deep fried bread with cream and chocolate and it's just so damn good. If you're in Sardinia, come to one of the Agri Turismo, try out all of the food. You will absolutely love it. Well, they just brought our Mirto and I have to say, <sighs> this is a really, really nice dinner. And so this is the local digestive in Sardinia. It's called Mirto. Mirto is a berry typical of the area. It's a delicious fruity berry and they steep it in alcohol and they add some sugar and it's incredibly tasty and fruity and flavorful and it's good for digestion apparently. So cheers. And this concludes our video of what to eat in Sardinia. We hope you enjoyed our video. And if you have any question, please leave a comment below and we love to answer a question. In the meantime, see you in the next video. Bye.